With Election Day a week away, our latest KRQE Emerson poll shows how the races are shaping up for the Republicans and Democrats hoping to lead New Mexico. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham leads her Republican challenger Mark Ronchetti by nearly three points in our latest poll. Her opponent, Mark Ronchetti, is still in the race. And that Republican candidate for governor, Mark Ronchetti, has received a key endorsement from former President Donald Trump. Yesterday, the former president posted on his Truth Social account, describing Ron Ketty as tough and smart on crime and the border. Meanwhile, the economy seems to be the key issue pushing New Mexicans to the polls. That is what 36% of people we polled identified as their number one concern this election as New Mexicans continue to grapple with challenges coming out of the pandemic. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Temperatures in the upper 30s this morning, so layer up. It's a chilly start. By this afternoon, it'll be nice and mild, a little breezy, and partly cloudy. Some New Mexicans have hit a hurdle when it comes to licensing in the state. Members of the medical field, physical therapists, and barbers are just some of the examples of jobs being impacted. The New Mexico uh, Regulation and Licensing Department says that they have noticed suspicious activity on their system. It's been down for about two weeks now. Albuquerque police are looking to a head-on crash where they found a driver shot to death behind the wheel. It happened in a neighborhood near Central and 14th just after 6 yesterday afternoon. At the time, police have not released any other details. This morning, the list of charges continues to grow for an Albuquerque woman already facing charges for 17 burglaries across the city. The latest criminal complaint against Kelly Sugar details the burglaries at at least three businesses in Northeast Albuquerque and one in the Cottonwood Mall area during July and August. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is low today. We'll just see those cold morning temps and some breezier winds, but no real threats. South Korea's National Police are apologizing this morning for not assigning enough officers to a Halloween celebration that turned deadly. Saturday night's crowd was estimated at 100,000 people before a deadly stampede resulted in the deaths of at least 154. Korea's government has declared a week of national mourning. Nine people in western India have been arrested in connection with the deadly collapse of a pedestrian bridge. Those arrested included managerial staff members, ticketing clerks, and three security guards who allegedly failed to control the crowds before the bridge plunged into the river. At least 134 people were killed. And let's get a look at the morning drive. Our maps are looking clear. No accidents or slowdowns to report. Trackers going south on I-25 near the Big Eye. Everything's still moving at speed. One man is doing all that he can to help boost the monarch butterfly population in northeast Wisconsin. Jack Voigt heads a nonprofit organization called Friends of Butterfly Gardens, which has a conservation center in Appleton, Wisconsin. Rather, the priority packages of the butterflies being transported to Texas. They will get there by Tuesday. Time now for the five facts. At number five this morning, a Facebook page will soon give you a list of the most elaborate Christmas displays here in the metro. In October, the Albuquerque area haunted Halloween Facebook page maps out the spookiest and most elaborate Halloween displays. The creator, Jared Trujillo, will change that list now for Christmas, giving people the chance to check out some of the most festive Christmas displays. That page was created back in 2020. At number four, a scholarship fund is now in place at UNM to honor a former alumni who was murdered this summer. Aftab Hussein, Naeem Hussein, and Muhammad Afzal Hussein were killed in what police believed were targeted attacks committed by Muhammad Sayed. Afzal Hussein was a UNM grad. The scholarship started by the university will go toward an incoming or returning UNM international undergraduate or graduate student from the Middle East or South Asia. And at number three, it's going to be a quiet and mild day. Temperatures will be back into the 60s and low to upper 70s. At number two, we're learning more about a Santa Fe woman who was murdered and the people accused of killing her. Court documents say 21-year-old Grace Jennings had a prior relationship with 19-year-old Kiara McCulley and 23-year-old Isaac Apodaca. Jennings spent the night with the couple at their home on Jaguar Drive. The next morning, police found her stabbed to death. And at number one, Election Day is a w exactly a week away, and our latest KRQE Emerson poll shows how the races are shaping up. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham has a lead over her Republican challenger, Mark Ronchetti, in some of the latest polls, including ours. That's by about three points. More than 3% of the likely voters we polled said that they, they were still undecided.